We've done a whole lot of interviews over the last couple of years for Where It's At, myself and people like Terry Mulligan, and uh, we haven't shown them all at once, and yet we've had a tremendous response to those interviews, in particular interviews like the Donovan interview, which is up and coming, like Jimi Hendrix. Uh, we hope to get a new Glenn Campbell interview. However, this is in black and white, this Donovan interview, so don't go adjusting your sets if you have a color set. It's all black and white. We started the thing about uh, six months ago, and Donovan was here in town. He said these things. Donovan, your music has evolved tremendously over the last few years, from colors right up to where you love like heaven to Alenia. Tell us about some of the changes that you've gone through. You've obviously been through a lot of different changes. Your music has changed. Well, I think the, the songs will probably tell more than I could. Um, they always do because they're just naked. Um, they're only songs and the personal aspect is never known, you know. Well, they are the personal aspects. They're the, the naked bits, you know, that, that you don't talk about such a lot. I just came through the regular changes. Um, I haven't thought much about it because I'm a young man and I'm a young writer and I haven't developed. Maybe when I'm old and grey I could work out an autobiography and realize what it's about. But right now I'm just grooving along with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was, a, was there ever a period where you had to sort of make up your mind that you were going to do commercial things? No. Right. There was one change. Of Mickey Most? When there was one change when I started being with Mickey Most mm -hmm. uh, as a producer and he made some hit records with me. But they're great, they're great adverts, great ads for albums, hit yeah. singles. And one day that the charts will be full of good music. It's happening now, I think. Yeah, but um, it takes a while. You get a lot of bad music as well. There seems to be, at least from my point of view, maybe you disagree. There seems to be a kind of a lull in the pop music scene right now. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot and of singers are, they've been recording a lot and they've been in the game five years or so. And they're missing playing live. And there's a direction to be found, mm -hmm. a new direction. Feedback? No, more of a, a natural reaction again, you know? Mm -hmm. Back to natural singing. That's why you've got Hey Jude and the sing along revolution. songs and things like that. Not so much ever, just songs that anybody can sing, like Beatles in England uh, done a television show and brought all the audience on behind the cameras mm -hmm. and gave them instruments to play. And just play along. Mm -hmm. Because uh, there's no, the new music has got no variety qualities, like the old variety that you go on stage and you turn on a different act. You know, the musician and the real one is the same on stage as he is off. And that's why it's, that's why it's changing to more natural and you know, relaxed. It was, the reason I mentioned this low is because it seems to me that around 1961, 62, there was also a low. Uh, there was when records like Tell Laura I Love Her and these terrible things were on the charts. And from that emerged, you know, the English sound, the Beatles and the Stones and everybody. And I wonder if you have any predictions about what's next, because well, that's just lost. No, no more gimmicks. It's not, I don't think it's gimmicks anymore. I think pop music is, is just being a beautiful vehicle for all the arts and everything. And it's all just coming into the pop music and going out. Mm -hmm. And the people who are aware of that are happy. And the people who are not aware of it still treat it as pop music. But you'll find that the, the books and all the poetry books and all the serious writings of the last generation are mirrored in this generation mm -hmm. and they're coming out on wax, not on paper. And that's great because the wax mm -hmm. can go out to more people than the books can. You mentioned Hey Jude, the other side revolution has employs a lot of the early rock techniques. Mm. It's got the fuzz tone guitar and the little Richard hammering piano. Yeah. And a lot of people are saying, you know, rock and roll is coming back. Do you no, think I think it's just uh, the Beatles have uh, always been rock and roll, but they're beautiful ballad writers as well. And they just don't want, they want to flash on everybody saying it doesn't matter. Music is music. It's just going on and on. What kind of a life do you lead when you're not touring around and recording and busy being Donovan? It's a very quiet life. Do you live in London? No, in the country. I don't, I don't live a fast pop star life at all. One would gather by listening to your music and by seeing particularly your album from a flower to a garden, that you're involved in various areas of religious thought, philosophy, etc. Perhaps religious is the wrong word, it's a badly overworked mm. word. But I don't think we have to use any of the words anymore. There's yeah. a beautiful philosophy growing up that hasn't got any names, hasn't got any tags attached to it. Um, the pure one again, just a, a living one, like a farmer's philosophy. And it's not been taught by the poets to the generation. The generation is, is growing in them. 
in the, and I'm not so worried about any hippie cults or anything like that. They're byproducts. The real one is all the little ones coming up, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen years old. They're the ones that are going to make all the new changes, you know? Mm -hmm. Is your involvement with uh, Maharishi ended, or are you still...? Well, I was with him for a while, but uh, I was never the studious type. I couldn't really study that. And I tried meditation, but I meditated for about half an hour or something. I never got really serious. Now I'm happy to sing in a song, you know. Do you have any plans for changes in your, in your act, in your music, in your poetry? I don't know. I'm ready for any changes, and uh, I don't act, really. I just well, you know, relax. The game is just a word. Sing. They're cumbersome. Mm. Do you, what I meant is, do you, do you plan to uh, uh, expand your, your station? Sure, I've, I've given away, away all the musicians. I haven't uh, used any musicians mm -hmm. for a long while. Because uh, when I first began, you see, I was a young writer and I became successful. And all the praise and all the criticism got heaped upon me at the wrong stage in my career. When I was, when I'm developed and when I become proficient at the craft of writing, then I can be criticized on it, but I was criticized then. So there was a little detour. Now it's three years later. I can begin again to study and learn what my craft is, writing. So I've returned just to guitar, and tonight I'm going to the stage just with a guitar and sing some songs, how they're written, not how they come out on the records. So uh, the only time I use musicians now is as if they're family or brothers or friends, when the music can be pure. I think your father introduces you, does he not, on stage? Last time, but not this time. Not this time. Yeah. Give him a rest. You, uh, unlike a lot of performers, uh, do the whole show yourself. Two and a half yeah. hours of Dunham. Mm. Does that take a lot out of you? Yeah. No, I have enough songs. Yeah. And if the people have enough patience to listen, we have a good time. That was Donovan Leach, and we'll have more spring in one minute.